Yeah, I'm BJ Sampkiri. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Mayo Clinic International. I have responsibility for all of Mayo Clinic's international activities outside the U.S. One of the uh, a few things that we've learned over the years of working internationally is number one that as we move into market to market, though we deliver a lot of amazing care within the U.S. It's critically important that we understand the patient's demographics and contextualize our approach to the market. Number two, it's really important in order for us to do that, that we partner and that we don't go on it at home. And as such, we're looking for and continue to work with partners and network partners across the globe in order to accelerate our ability to serve patients' needs locally. And then for the 1% of patients that really can come to the U.S. that we create a simple and easy way for them to come and meet their serious and complex needs in our in our sites here in the U.S. as well. You know, patients come to Mayo Clinic really for a simple reason, which is we are constantly focused on the needs of the patients. Our physicians are incentivized to do nothing else other than to deliver great outcomes and deliver great care for our patients. And as such, patients come to see integrated care that delivers multiple views of the patient and ultimately delivers the right outcomes at the right need, right time. And what we see in a lot of patients is that they've been diagnosed or misdiagnosed or are looking for hope for issues that they are not getting answers to. And what we at Mayo really pride ourselves on is helping to solve the most complex issues for patients so that we can bring hope and healing to their daily lives. You know, as we continue to grow internationally, our, our goal is really simple to continue to penetrate markets and serve patients locally. We want to continue to move from what we've called a historic pipeline model to a platform model where we accelerate the growth of care through digital technologies, AI, and the growth of those activities across the world. And we want to really partner in order to both serve patients locally and ensure that the right patients at the right times are coming to our destination medical centers in the U.S. Yeah, Arab health is a critically important part of our journey. We believe that the Middle East is an incredibly important part of the world, a constantly growing part of the world where healthcare is evolving. And as such, we're evolving to understand and meet, make sure that we're caring for patients here in their unique needs and their unique ways. Arab health allows us to see the unique inventions, innovations that are occurring within this market, to leverage those engagements in order to identify new partners that we can engage with and ultimately serve the people here and ensure that they know Mayo Clinic is here to serve the patients within the Middle East. We just want to continually thank all the patients that look to us for care, that see us as a place for hope and healing, and know that Mayo Clinic continues to open our doors to ensure that those who are uh, looking for serious and complex care have the right care at the right time in the right way through our different destination medical centers in the U.S. and through our partners uh, globally.